Hello, hello, welcome. Good evening, teacher. Hey, JC, how are you? Welcome. Yvonne. Hi, teacher. Welcome, welcome. Uh, give me a second, I will bring another camera. Voy a traer otra cámara porque creo que esta me está fallando un poquitito. Give me a second. Okay, hello again. I'm here. We're ready to start the new class. And to begin, we're going to share the the manual. Uh, last class we had um, we had some exercises we didn't complete, right? Algunos ejercicios que no completamos la clase anterior. Okay. Okay. If you remember last class, we were learning about there is, there are, right? There is it for singular, there are is for plural, right? There is an ATM across the street, you know? Automatic teller machine, you know? Cajero automático. There is, or oh, contraction, there's a recruitment center on the corner of Roosevelt Street and First Avenue. In negative, we have there is no clothing factory around the corner. Or you can say there isn't. A clothing factory around the corner, right? And um, in plural, you say there are a lot of companies down the street. There are some supermarkets on the right and left side of the street. Some, remember, this is a quantifier, right? A lot of and some. And uh, in negative, there are no or there aren't hospitals on Barry Street. So, Let's go to the answers of these exercises. Number one, it says market presentation across the street in the morning. So what do you think? Is there is or there are? There is. There is. There is. We're going to copy. There is, right? Can we say there's? Yes or no? Contractions? Yes, right? Yes. Yes, there is a marketing presentation across the street. Number two. Uh, it says business workshop. Business workshops in plural, right? There are. There are, right? In this case, we're going to add the word some. There are some. We can also say there are a lot, right? Okay. Um, good. Now let's go to number three. And it says recruitment centers, but it says no, right? Negative. So? There are no. There are no. There are no recruitment centers, right? Remember, this is an option. Oh, in negative, there aren't. 
there aren't any, oops, there aren't any recruitment center. Two options, right? There are no recruitment centers or there aren't any recruitment center, right? Number four, please. Hi, teacher. Hi, hello. Alessandro. Alessandro, hello, Alessandro. Welcome. Thank you. Problem with the internet, Alessandro? No. No, ahorita no, momento no. Esperemos que no. Excelentoso. <laughs> okay, let's just start, right? Store on the corner, a negative, right? So what is the correct answer? There isn't. There isn't a store, right? Or you can say there is no store on the corner, right? Okay, number five. Number five, right? So it says banks. There is or there are? There are. There are. There are some banks behind. Okay. And the number six. Well, it says number one, but it's number, you know, it's number six, right? Aranza building. I don't know, it's a name like Puscatlan building, for example, right? Around the corner. So there is or there are? What do you think? There is. There is. Very good. Teacher, excuse me. Because uh, can you singular, right? give us more example about in, at, and on? Wait a minute. Give me a second. Um, give me a second. I will do something. There is an Aranza. Just give me a second, please. Tengo problemas con el audio. Déjame un segundito. No, está bien. ¿Qué pasó ahí entonces? Dale un segundito. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, welcome. Ok, hoy sí. Uh, perdón, ¿quién me estaba preguntando? Sorry. Sorry, teacher. I, I asked you about if you can give us more example about in, on, and at. Ah, ok. Good, that's it, right? Uh, this is re referring to places, right, Deborah? Of course. Places, yes. Yeah, because if you remember last time we were learning about, uh, we were learning about uh, uh, time, time, yes. But this time uh, we're going to review a little about a preposition of places, right? Let's go back to the manual. Let's go to back to the manual, right? And we have here, uh, on, in, and at, right? Let me see, let me see. In, on, and at, right? I will review with the, with the last presentation. Give me a second, I will, I will look for it. Some seconds here. Okay, presentations. Presentation 16. This is the one, right? Okay. Let me share with you. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, this is the one. Uh, 
Okay. Good. Can you see it now? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. So good. Uh, I was telling you that uh, we use in, on, and at when we refer to places, right? Generally, when we refer to uh, surface, surface, we just use the, the preposition on, right? On Bank Street. Remember that when we talk about streets and avenue, we're talking about surface, right? Superficie. Uh, 34th Avenue, right? The 10th floor. Also, last time I was telling you that the, the table, for example, I will copy here some examples. Look. Some examples. Uh, okay. For example, we can say the the pencil is on the oops, on the table. The book on the table. On the table, right? Uh, we can also say um, the the picture. The picture is on the wall, right? Surface, right? We can also say, for example, um, McDonald's is on RC Street. Right? Again, the street is surface, right? Okay, we can also say the National Palace, the National Palace is on Cuscatlan Avenue. Okay, good. Uh, also, for example, we can say Firulais or Fido was walking on the sidewalk in La Sera, right? In the sidewalk. So notice on, on, right? Why we also, uh, we use on in all, all of these examples because we're talking about surface. Surface, superficie, right? Any surface, you say on, right? For example, the, I'm, I'm living in an apartment, right? So the floor, the floor of this apartment, you say the picture is on the floor, right? On the floor. So these are examples with on. Then when we use in, we talk about places that are close, totally close, or partially close. Right? For example, uh, she lives in an apartment. The apartment is closed, right? Uh, Jonathan lives in a house, in a, right? Uh, I work in an office, right? I am sitting in a desk. Uh, let's copy for some example, right? I'm in a desk. Okay, those, those, you know, esos pupitres en lo que usted se, se sienta y ya puede escribir en los pupitres, ¿no? Entonces, and you can say, teacher, pero yo no estoy encerrado ahí, sí, sí, pero está parcialmente, partially closed, right? See? Also, I can say, I am in, in Suchitoto, for example, right? Suchuchito, no, sorry, Suchitoto. Toto. So and then you say, okay, teacher, but Suchitoto is not totally close. I know, but you're among the trees, usted está en medio de los, de los árboles, en medio de las casas, en medio de la iglesia, ¿no? Entonces, está como parcialmente encerrado. Also, you can say, I'm in a forest. Right? Again, we have trees, we have mountains, we have uh, bushes, you know, arbustos, we have oof, a lot of things in a forest, right, that you you are partially enclosed, right? So that parcialmente como dentro de, right? 
So I am in, in Kuhukuyo, right? Again, so you're partially closed. So these are examples of the use of in, right? Then in the use of at, let me erase this. Okay, at is very, very specific, right? Uh, for example, um, here's my book, right? Here's my, my manual, right? So notice that here at the, at the corner, we have the INSAFOR logo, right? We have the INSAFOR logo. So the, the INSAFOR logo is at the corner. So I can say, for example, the, the pen is on the, on the book. The pen is in, in the book, right? But you can say that the INSAFOR logo is at the corner, at the corner. Why? Because it's one specific place on the book, right? The same happens when you're describing directions and you say, I live at 50 Main Street, right? Let's say another example, right? Yvonne lives, for example, right? Sorry, Yvonne, to use your name. I know he has trademark, right? Marca registrada, but sorry. Después me cobra por el uso. Okay. Yvonne, right, lives in uh, the house. No, no, in no. At um, number three, uh, Ocote Avenue, right? For example, you know? So the house, I will copy house, yes. Normally in United States, we don't say house, but here we say house number three, Ocote Avenue. So how many houses are in Ocote Avenue? There are many houses, right? But the house number three is very, very specific. So here, Yvonne lives in, in this specific house, right? He works at a bookstore, right? Or we can say, for example, uh, this is real. Yeah? I will show you a real example. Robert works at, I don't know why it's just, works at uh, Mejia and Asociado, right? You see? And then it's a very specific place. You can also say in, Mejia Asociado, but when we say in, you're talking about the location. I mean, the if you are in or you are out of the place, right? But when you talk about directions, when you want to tell the specific place in a city or in a town, you use at, right? They study at, at the Brook School, they say. Uh, Jonathan studies at uh, English Corporativo, right? Okay. Teacher. Yes, tell me. Um, in the exam, for example, mm -hmm. uh, the number one was where Julie, she's at school. Uh, I ask you because uh, I confuse when you use at, uh, at school, at cinema, is a section or what? Well, honestly, uh, there is, it's difficult to say, right? But normally when you're giving direction, you say at. In this context, if you, if you want, we can check the, the, the platform, the platform, I mean. But the context is this, when you're giving directions, at, right? For example, it's, it's more common to say, I work, a proverb works at Mejia y Asociados, that to say that is he works in Mejia Social, you know? So it's more 
appropriate to use at in the con in the context of directions. But Deborah, can you do you want to see uh, the platform? Quisiera ver la plataforma. Sí, teacher, es que yes, fíjese go, que go. a mí me salió malo eso. Yes, Incluso go, 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 go. puedo decir en mi cumpleaños, a, a mí me salió malo. Entonces me, yo, yo me pregunté cuál voy a usar entonces, on, in o at, cuando dice my birthday. Ah, it's, it's on, right? On my oh, ber birthday. But let's check the, let's check the, I will open it. Give me a second. Voy a abrirlo. Eh, para mientras les voy a dejar una, un ejercicio en lo, en lo que abro. Para ser más específico, teacher, sería la tarea 16. Um, tarea 16. Okay, no problem. Yeah. Right now, right now. I'm, I'm opening, I'm opening. Okay, look at this, right? Les dejo aquí esta pantalla porque vamos a trabajar un poquito en eso, ¿sí? Mientras yo me voy a otras pantallas. Siguen viendo el, el libro, ¿verdad? Va, ok. Entonces déjenme ahorita. Lo voy a dejar unos segunditos en lo que abro aquí esta pantalla. Uh, ok. Mm -hmm. Ok, eh, para mientras les doy unos comerciales, eh, este día les enviaron un, un correo eh, para hacer una encuesta. Les voy a suplicar que no vayan a hacer la encuesta todavía. ¿Sí? Uh, porque necesito que lo hagamos el día miércoles, que lo hagamos juntos. Eh, Puede parecer un poquito fácil, ¿verdad? Pero sí necesito que lo, lo hagamos juntos porque este, necesito que ese día le, le tomen captura de pantalla uh, ya la encuesta realizada, ¿no? Entonces me la van a enviar al grupo de WhatsApp, pero hasta el miércoles, hasta el miércoles, ¿verdad? Si bien es cierto, ya les enviaron... Les enviaron el correo y ustedes pueden acces acceder a la encuesta. Pero repito, por favor, no lo vayan a hacer todavía. ¿sí? Lo vamos a hacer juntos, tú quedar a la par, <ríe> el día miércoles 19. ¿Les parece? Vaya muy bien. Permítame que aquí estoy revisando. Vamos a anotar por acá. Eh, aparte de este ejercicio um, si hay algún otro ejercicio en el que tengan problemas me dicen aunque entiendo que la mayoría ya terminó la plataforma ¿verdad? así es que regálenme un segundito acá Ok. Por aquí estoy entrando. Ya van a disculpar que eh, se tarda un poquito en abrir las ventanas. Digo, las ventanas de la plataforma. <ríe> ok, aquí estamos ya. Ahorita les comparto. Ok, uh, can you see it? Pueden verla? La tarea 16? Yeah. Yes? Good. Are you in on an art, right? But, como no puedo darles la respuesta, eh, voy a más o menos a, darle una, a darles una idea de, de por qué es in on an art, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, si yo digo, estoy en, aquí cambiémosle a meeting, ¿sí? 
Para que no digan, el teacher les dio la respuesta, ¿les parece? <ríe> Are you in the meeting? Two. Are you in the meeting? You know? ¿Por qué es esto? Porque normalmente cuando hay una reunión o otro tipo de eventos, es en un lugar cerrado. Entonces, en este tipo de... de déjenme ver, tres... Mmm, no, perdón, estoy, estoy confundido. Déjenme ver, segundo... La tarea 16 era, ¿verdad? Sí. Uh, sí, aquí estamos, ¿verdad? Sí, va, entonces, perdón, no, entonces no, no se refiere al lugar, sí. Se refiere a un lugar en específico, sí. Va, entonces, otra vez, perdón, borremos lo anterior, pues, qué pena, qué pena. Borremos lo anterior y digamos, are you in the party, on the party, and at the party too? Ok, aquí... Aquí es donde entramos en dificultades, ¿verdad? Porque podemos decir que usted está in the party o at the party, right? Aquí, en este ejercicio, ejercicio en especial, están preguntando el lugar específico, ¿sí? Entonces yo les dije que era in, pero no. La, la plataforma lo entiende como at, ¿sí? Ahí es donde, pues, jugamos, ¿verdad? Con el sí y el no. Les voy a dar un consejo, ¿sí? Eh, la plataforma es amigable. Entonces, si ustedes ponen in, yo les soy honesto, está correcto. Y si le ponen at, también está correcto. Pero como la información de la plataforma ya está determinada, entonces deben seguir lo que el programador de la plataforma dice. Y en este contexto, el más apropiado sería at. ¿Ok? En la 1. Está. Ok. The information is, aquí sí, miren, aquí solo hay una opción. ¿Se recuerda el ejemplo que les di del libro? Está en una esquina el logo del, de esa forma. ¿eh? ¿Sí? So, the logo is at the corner. Es el mismo caso aquí. ¿Sí? No les voy a decir la respuesta porque no me lo permiten, pero ya se puede imaginar si yo digo que, que algo está arriba o abajo, ¿va? Pongámosle abajo, sí. Yo abro la página y digo, ok. The, the picture, the picture is under the page. It's, no, perdón. It's, in this case, at the, at, the, at the bottom. Sorry, at the bottom of the page. Quiere decir, abajo de la página, sí. At the bottom, sí. At the bottom of the page. Yes. Entonces, nuevamente estamos hablando de algo bien específico. La una sí es un poco ambigua entre in y a, pero esta sí es bien clara, ¿sí? Estamos hablando de algo específico, ¿sí? Ok. The dog sleeping in, on, or at the carpet. Bueno. Eh, ¿Qué es una carpet? Es una alfombra, ¿no? ¿Sí? Vaya, entonces una alfombra entra como superficie, como un lugar encerrado o como un lugar específico. Superficie. Superficie. Surface, right? Vaya, y ya les dije yo cuál se usa en la surface. Repito, no. No me los puedo decir ahorita. Pero ya más o menos ustedes se imaginan, ¿sí? Eh, ¿Qué otra forma podría decirlo? Um, Shit, right? Yo, yo tiro una cobija en, en el piso, ¿no? Entonces el perrito viene y se acuesta en la cobija. Entonces, the dog is sleeping on the sheet. ¿Sí? Sobre la cobija, ¿ya? Entonces, más o menos por ahí. Ya se imagina. Ok. Y aquí sí está fácil, la 4. La 4 está fácil porque este, habla de un lugar encerrado, ¿sí? The house or the apartment is closed. Y ahí está totalmente encerrado. ¿sí? Así que ya se imaginan cuál es la proposición aquí correcta. ¿sí? No sé si los estoy dejando más perdidos, pero <ríe> el problema es que no puedo dar la respuesta. Y por último, go swimming in, on, or at the river. Bueno, en este contexto, 
les voy a poner el, el mar, vaya, o un lago mejor. Eh, Jay-Z is swimming in the Ouija Lake. Jay-Z is swimming in the Ouija Lake. Como un lago, ¿no? Entonces tiene agua y obviamente usted no va, no va a andar sobre la superficie, va a andar nadando adentro, ¿verdad? ¿Ok? Entonces, por ahí más o menos. Teacher, pero fíjese es, que en ese no es in. No es, no es. In. In, en las cinco. Oh, let me see. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. Eh, voy a alegar ignorancia, ¿no? No sé cuál es la respuesta, sí. Ok, teacher. And okay. the other one. It's the last one. It's the last one. Tell me, tell uh, me. It's the 14. 14. Exactly the number. Let me check. Oh, my gosh. Um, Va, déjeme un segundito. Voy a dejar de compartir acá. Five. Number five. Yes. Give me a second, please. Task number five. La tarea número cinco, sí. For, is 14, number five. The homework for Ah, 14, number five. Yes. Ok, give me a second. Number 10, no, me, me fui muy allá. Realme un segundito. Aquí estamos, en la unidad 3 estamos. Yes. Give me a second. Sorry, ok. 14. Ok, está abriendo. Si sí es parecido el ejercicio, ya lo vi. Permítanme. Pero este es de tiempo, Débora. Yes, teacher. Es de tiempo. Mm -hmm. Pero igual, o sea, me, me causó. Medio, medio rarita, va. He got married on September in or at. O sea, ahí. Porque nosotros vimos how to use preposition of time. En, en el cuadrito en la página 36 dice in May. Entonces asumo que son todos los meses que se utiliza in. Ajá. Vaya, ahorita les comparto realmente un segundito. Ah. Permítame que tengo aquí abierta como 20 pantallas. Sorry, sorry. Estamos otra vez. Está abriendo ahorita. Ok. Hoy sí. Ahorita les comparto. Vaya. Eh, le voy a ser honesto. Ya revisé el ejercicio. ¿Sí? Aquí estamos. ¿Sí? Vaya. Comencemos con 9 a.m., right? Aquí sí estamos claros que es específico, ¿verdad? Yes? Specific yes. time. Ok. La número dos, estamos claros que es una fecha, ¿verdad? Sí? Y con fecha ya saben qué usamos, ¿verdad? ¿Cuál es la proposición que, que usamos? Eran fechas. On. On. Sí, no estoy diciendo que aquí es on. No estoy dando la respuesta. Pero ya saben que en fechas es on, ¿verdad? Estamos claros ahí. En la 3, eh, yo les dije que cuando se trataba de fiestas, eh, digamos el Día del Padre, Navidad, mi cumpleaños y todo eso, ¿qué preposición era? ¿Cuál era la preposición que usamos para las, las celebraciones? Vale, voy a decir esto. Teacher. On, 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 on the Father's Day, right? El on. Yeah, on. On, ok, muy bien. Entonces, my birthday es una celebración, sí o no? Es una celebración nacional. Ah, no. Mi cumpleaños es una celebración, sí o no? Yes, right? Yes. Entonces, ahí tenemos la respuesta. Y aquí... 
yo les soy honesto, ¿verdad? Ah, no, no, si ese está, ese está bien, va. Los años, por ejemplo, 2022 decimos in 2022, right? In 2022. Entonces, en la 5 hay un error. Aquí sí voy a tener que darle la respuesta porque está yeah, equivocada. Okay. La plataforma está equivocada. Ok. Y voy a reportarlo, por cierto, ¿verdad? Ok, thank you, teacher. Entonces, aquí le han puesto eh, on. No sé por qué le han puesto on, pero está incorrecto. La respuesta correcta es in. ¿Sí? In September, right? Ok. Pero la plataforma le ha puesto on. Esta es la respuesta que han puesto ahí. Sí, entonces está equivocado. Pero pues hay que seguir la, las, las reglas del juego y ustedes pónganle on. ¿Sí? Y gracias. Eh, Débora, voy a anotarlo ahorita. Para reportarlo, ¿sí? Sería la tarea 14. Task four. Number five. Hay un error. Ok. Good. Uh, Débora, are you satisfied with the answers? Or... Yes, teacher. Yes. Eh, estaba confundida, entonces dije yo no le entendí al teacher, pero esto que fue a mí. No, no, it's a mistake. There is a mistake, yes. Okay. Um, Thank you, teacher. Yes, Thank what can so I much. say? <laughs> sorry for the, for the situation, right? Sorry, sorry. Okay, now uh, I will take the attendance. I will take the attendance. Give me a second. In the meantime, I will share something with you. Here, right? Okay. But let me read the messages, right? Tengo como siete mensajes aquí. Nicole, estar de oyente. Okidoki. Minor. Uh, ok, va en transporte público. Oyente. Eh, eh, Abby. Va muy bien, Abby. Bienvenida a la clase. No hay problema. Como hacer un sanguichito antes si quiere, un cafecito y después nos acompaña, ¿sí? Robert, ah, ok, aquí está Robert con nosotros ya. Naum, hello Naum. Ah, oyente, ok. Permítame, Naum, aquí está. Yes. Uh, Alessandro, sí, bueno. Vamos a ponerlo de oyente porque no puede participar, tiene problemas en el audio. Si sí, ahorita la estamos pasando, JC, sí, gracias. Aquí estás leyendo su mensaje, disculpe. Y Oscar va a estar de oyente también. Va, hoy sí. Los chicos que están de oyente, por favor, siempre cuando diga su nombre en, el, en la asistencia, me, me mandan el mensaje para que quede registrado para Insafor que ustedes están en clase. Hoy, ok. Alessandro, Ivonne. Present. Débora. Sí, Ticho. Delia. Edwin. Hola. Present, Ticho. Nice Lupita. Present, Ticho. Erika. Abby. Present. Ok. Ya estamos listos, ¿verdad, Abby? Sí, ya. Pues va, comió algo ahí, <ríe> que sea poquito. Sí, va. Sí. Elizabeth. Jonathan. Present teacher. José. Present teacher. Naum. JC. Present teacher. Minor. Melba. Mónica. Nicole. Oscar. 
Robert? Robert? Yari? Ok, aquí tengo los mensajes ya. Sorry, vamos a ver. Eh, recuérdense que el miércoles eh, me dedican, ya les voy a decir, la encuesta va a ser a las ocho y media. Entonces, a las ocho y media, por favorcito, no quiero oyentes, quiero que todos estén participando, por, porque es un requisito indispensable para Insafo, ¿sí? Ahorita yo sé que algunos tienen todavía alguna reunión o van en transporte, etcétera, etcétera. Pero el miércoles todos vamos a estar a las ocho y media haciendo la encuesta. ¿Les parece? Vale. Ok, Alessandro, Nicole, Melba. Hello, Melba. Welcome. Ok. Uh, yes, Naum, Oscar, Minor, and... Erika, right? Welcome, Erika. Here, right? Okay. Estamos todos. Solo Mónica, creo que no. Mónica, hello. No, solo Mónica no se ha presentado. Alessandro, Robert, Oscar, JC. Sí, solo Mónica, entonces. Bueno, espero que se incorpore más rato, otro ratito. Ok. So let's begin. Let's start with the show. Do you have any question? ¿Hay alguna pregunta sobre el, la plataforma, sobre el curso? Yo tenía una más, pero la voy a buscar. Sister. No, 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 no. Tell me, tell me. Dígame. No, es que no, es que no encuentro cuál es. Ahorita la estoy buscando para, para decírsela. En la plataforma. Yes, por eso oh, le digo, ya, ya se la, ya se la No digo. problem, we're going to check together. Don't worry, anytime. Tell me when you're ready. Okay, now let's start with this exercise. Listen, here we have the definition of some places, right? A barber shop, a grocery store, a laundromat, a library, a stationery store, a theater, and a travel agent, right? So what's a barber shop? Well, a barber shop, it's a place where you, where you what? Where you wash your, and dry your clothes? Nah. Where you buy food? Do you buy food in a barber shop? Of course not. Do you buy cars and paper? No. Do, do you get a haircut in a barber shop? Yes or no? Yes. Yes, okie dokie. So, so what's a barber shop? is a place where you get a haircut, okay? Good. Now, let me see. And, ah, sorry. Uh, Yvonne, please. What's a grocery store, Yvonne? Okay, so Delia, please. What's a grocery store? Can you hear me? Okay, so Edwin, what's a grocery store, Edwin? Uh, it's a place where you Is uh, where boy food is a place where you buy food. Repeat again, please. It's a place, it's a place where you buy food. Good, thank you. Again. Now, make the next question the next question to Lupita Edwin, a laundromat. Say, Lupita, what's a laundromat? Come on. Lupita, what's a, laund a laundromat? Mm. It's, a oh, yeah. it's a place where you 
Sharing the shop. Uh, it's a place could you wash and the dry clothes. Okey Very good, right? Uh, who who say uh clothes clothes? Uh, how do you say clothes in Spanish? Ropa. Oh. Ropa. Okay. Clothes. Yes. Lupita, make the question to uh, Erica, please. Uh, library. Uh, Erica, what's what's a liver? Library. 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 Uh -huh, Aha, Erika. Okay, so Abby, uh, again, please, Lupita, make the question, please. To Abby, to Abigail. Abby. Uh, Abby, what's a library? It's a place where you borrow books. You borrow books, right? Okay. Remember, there is a difference between borrow and lend. Lend is uh, dar prestado. And borrow is pedir prestado, right? Understand? Good. Thank you. Uh, Abby, please, let's make the question to Jonathan. Stationary store. Stationary store. Stationary store. Mm -hmm. Jonathan, what, what's a stationary store? It's a place where you. Um, uh, buy cars and pampers. Okay, paper, right? Paper. <laughs> Creo que. <laughs> Jonathan está pensando en cuando era bebé Camilita, va? <laughs> and pampers. <laughs> okay, buy cars and paper. Good, thank you, Jonathan. Now, Jonathan, make the question to Jose. Uh, theater, theater. Teacher, can you repeat uh, the pronunciation of number five? Excuse me. Stationary store. Stationary store. Stationary uh, store. Mm, okay. Now, Jonathan, to to Jose, please. Theater. Number five. Theater. Number number six. Number six. Como se dice, teacher? What's a? No, 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 no. Ah, uh, theater. <laughs> theater. Sí, con D. No, 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 like, like, thank you. Thank you, Theater. 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 Oh. Ah, oh, Jose, verdad? Yeah. Jose, what's a Theater? A la, uh, six. Yeah, number six. What's a Theater? It's a okay. place. It's a place where you. See a movie or play. Excelentoso, Jose. Now, Jose, make this question to JC. Number seven. Say, JC, what's a travel agency? Travel agency? Come on, Jose, make the question to JC. Hey. What's hard, travel uh, agency, JC? What's a travel uh, agency? It's a place where you make your reservation for a trip. Okie dokie. Now, JC, let's make this question to Melba. What? Okay, uh, you're going to tell about clothing store. Clothing store, right? This is more difficult because the answer is not here, right? Esta parte más difícil porque eh, clothing store es una tienda de ropa, ¿no? Sí. Pero no está la respuesta aquí. Entonces, ustedes se la van a inventar. Okay? Now, JC, make the question to Melba. Melba, what uh, uh, clothing store? It's a, 
8 p.m. It's a place where you. It's a. Uh -huh. it's, it's a, a place, place where uh -huh. you. Where you closing a store. Uh -huh. But I need an action, Melba. Necesito una acción. Sell, ah, okay. buy, get, comprar, vender, obtener. Uh -huh. It's a place where you buy. Así sería. Yeah, yeah, excellent. Continue. Where you buy. ¿Qué es lo que compra ahí, Melba? It's a place um, where you buy. Where you buy shit. <laughs> Se compra. Yeah, but, but what, what do you buy? For example, in Sara, in Simán, in Prisma, in, what do you buy? Okay. It's a place where you buy uh, clothes. Clothes. <laughs> Excellent. Very good. Now, Melba, uh, let's make this question to, to Yvonne, please. Uh, drugstore. Solo terminamos esta parte y vamos a ir a chequear la plataforma otra vez. Okay? Ah. Melba, to Yvonne, it, what's a? Yvonne, what's a? Gracias. Uh, disculpe, teacher. Yes, tell me. Drugstore, me dijo. Drugstore, yes, please. Eh, a ver. What? A drugstore. A high bone. I'm sorry, teacher. ¿Qué es drugstore? Ah, es farmacia. Farmacia, yes. Otra guerrilla. Okay. ¿Cómo se llama? Para uno. Uh, it's a place where you, where you buy medicine. Excellent. Now, Yvonne, make this question to Deborah, please. Music store. Excuse me, me dijo cuál? Deborah, music store. No le escuché, perdón. Okay. You are going to ask Deborah yes? what's a music store? Music, music store. Okay. Deborah, what's a uh, music store. Okay. Uh, um, it's a place where you can. Teacher, but nowadays we don't buy cassettes or CDs, right? Well, maybe. Uh, um, classic <laughs> stores. Yeah, they in. in... Okay, if you are going to Madrid, that is a it's a classic music store. It's a place where you can buy. It's a place where you buy music. Let's say, right? It could be. Yeah, I don't know. It could be iPods. Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe iPod or Netflix. Oh, okay, see, right. <laughs> Very good. Now, uh, we're going to go to the platform, right? Uh, Deborah, again, um, you say... Ya vimos la carita, Jose. Okay. Uh, task number four, Deborah. What's the inter the, the exam teacher? Uh, my question is, you're asking uh -huh. about the platform, right? Pre me pregunta sobre la plataforma. Es yes, la unidad sure. cuatro, ejercicio cinco, sería. Is the, um, the exam, the intermediate exam? Ah. Es lo siento, más general. Number five, okay, we're going to see it, right? Le, le voy a dejar esta pantallita. 
en lo que yo reviso el midterm, la parte 5 me dijo, vale, ok. Le voy a dejar esta conversación. Permítame un segundito para no dejarlos en el aire mientras yo busco. Aquí. Aquí lo voy a dejar con esta conversación, ¿ok? Unit 8. What's your neighborhood like? Page 50. Exercise 2. Conversation. I'm your new neighbor. Listen and practice. Excuse me. I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center, too. A barber shop? Good. Uh, again, I will play it again. Si sí están viendo la conversación, ¿verdad? Ok. Unit 8. What's your neighborhood like? Page 50. Exercise 2. Conversation. I'm your new neighbor. Listen and practice. Excuse me. I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center, too. A barber shop? You understand why she says a barber shop, right? Look at the hair of the guy, huh? <laughs> okay, very good. Now, um, we're going to do something. We're going to practice this conversation and later we're going to check the, the intro test, right? No, yo creo que tengo aquí de la Ah, sí, 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 sí. Okay, uh, and I have. Mm, okay. We're going to do something, right? Uh, we're going to practice the conversation. Give me a second. Okay, he says, repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. Excuse me. I'm your new neighbor. Jack. I just moved in. Moved in. Me acabo de mudar. Me acabo de mudar, right? And the lady says, Mrs. Day says, Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And Jack says, I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes. There are some on Pine Street. Yes, there are some on Pine Street. And Jack says, oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, a todo esto, by the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center too. There's a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop. Okay. Casi que le dice al muchacho que se vaya a bañar también va. 
Okay, good. No, I need, uh, who's going to help me? Vamos a ver. Um, Delia, can you help me, please? Uh, you're going to be Mrs. Day. And Edwin, help me, please, Edwin. You're going to be Jack. Okay. okay. Please, en, cuando, en lo que ustedes lo practican, voy a ir a buscar el archivo de, que me está pidiendo Débora. Yes? Okay, practice. One, two, three. Excuse me, I am your new neighbor, Jack. Jack, I just move it in. Uh, Delia, can you hear me? Uh, no sé si sé el micrófono, Delia. Alcanzo a escuchar una voz, pero... Okay, Yvonne, please. My salvation in these cases. Mi salvación en estos casos. <laughs> Yvonne, can you help me? Okay, teacher. Okay, thank you. Now again, Edwin. Okay. Excuse me. I am I am your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved it in. Oh yes. I'm I'm looking for ¿Cómo se pronuncia ese dicho? Uh, I'm looking for a grocery store. Grocery store. I'm look I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some someone in the street. In the street. Oh, good. I I there. I dare long, long moon new hair. Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there is a bar, there is a barber shop in the shopping center too. A uh, barber shop. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now, uh, give me a second, please. Realeme un segundito. Débora, eh, el midterm solo tiene cuatro partes. Pero usted me ha puesto ahí parte cinco, entonces no, no me ubico. Estoy perdido. Cuatro preguntas. Oh, ya. Sí, sí. Eh, la, la cuatro es. Do you take the bus at 7 a.m.? I will, well, give me a second. I will, I will share the, the platform. Le voy, a, le voy a compartir la plataforma. Permítanme. Permítanme un segundito. Uh, aquí estamos. Que ahorita okay, tengo muchas pantallas abiertas. <laughs> Just give, give me a second. Give me a second. Ahorita se la comparto. Okay. Aquí estamos. Mire. Um, el midterm me dijo, ¿verdad? Midterm. Yeah. Ahí lo está abriendo ahorita. Opening, 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 opening. Ok. Uh, this is the one, Deborah. Do you like music, Jeff? Do you like music? Does that have in English? Yes, yes. Yes, this is the one. Yes. Okay, good. So in this case, uh, do you like music? Number one, right? Do you like pupusas? Yes. I do. I do, right? I like pupusas. Yes, I do, right? Aquí no sé, no sé qué va a contestar, no sé. No me sé la respuesta de la uno. <laughs> okay, pero si le preguntaran, do you like pupusas? Usted contestaría, yes, I do. Okay, number two. Does Sarah know English? No. Okay. Does Lupita know English? Lupita. Okay. Does Lupita know English? No. She doesn't. No, she doesn't. Right? Repito, no estoy dando las respuestas. No, she doesn't. Number three. Do you... Do you... Um, do you and JC, <clears throat> do you and JC 
play the guitar? Yes, we do. Yes, James, JC and me, we, we, we play the guitar, right? Yes, we do. Number three, right? Number four, does she brush? No, no, no. Does, does Delia brush her teeth before going to bed? Yes, she does. Yes, she does, right? You got it? Yes. Does Delia brush her teeth before going to bed? Yes, she does. Okay, number five. Do you take the bus at nine o'clock? Nine o'clock? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. We take Teacher, the bus at... We. Sorry? We do, yes. Why? Why? Ah, okay. I will tell you. Number one, it couldn't be they. Why not? Because you're asking you, right? It's impossible, right? And you cannot say we does because it's no logic to say we does. It's, we use does just for he, she, and it. So the correct answer is yes, we do because you has two uses, singular, tú, vos, usted, right? Or plural, ustedes. Toman ustedes el bus a las 11, <laughs> a las 11 de la mañana, ¿ok? Sí, nosotros, claro, nosotros lo hacemos, ¿sí? Yes, we do. ¿Understand, Débora? Pero no se usa el you con el they también. No, 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 no. They is they. Do they take? Remember, okay. we have three persons, right? You when I am talking about me and we. No, well, wait. I will review. When I made the question, right, and I say, do you? And then you say, yes, I do. Okay. But this is when it's singular, right? Okay. But when, when it's plural, you say, do you, ustedes, ustedes, right? Do you? Oh, okay, I got to Thank you eat, so much. Eat uh, Maruchan, for example. Yes, we, see, nosotros. Nosotros, right? Excuse me. So in this case, we're talking about first and second person. La primera persona le hace la pregunta a la segunda persona. Okay. Y la segunda persona siempre va a ser you en singular, tú, vos o usted, y you en plural, ustedes, ¿sí? Pero si yo pregunto de una tercera persona, en este caso solo son singular he, she, and it, y en plural they. Entonces siempre tengo que usar en la pregunta de la tercera persona, digamos, do, does she take the bus? Does he take the bus? Do they take the bus? Y siempre voy a responder. Si pregunto con she, respondo con she. Si pregunto con he, con he. Si pregunto con they, they. Pero en, el, en este caso de you, repito, puede ser singular o plural. Si es singular, contesto con I, yes, I do. Y si es plural, ustedes... Entonces contesto, yes, we, sí, nosotros. ¿Ok? Ok. You got it? Good. Now let's continue. Let's continue with the, with the class, right? Any other question? Okay, now let's go to, to the next exercise here. Give me a second, let me un segundito. Okay, here we are, right? There is, there are one, any, what is negative, right? Any, and someone is affirmative. Please listen. Page 51, exercise three, grammar focus. There is, there are, one, any, some. Is there a laundromat near here? Yes, there is. There's one across from the shopping center. 
No, there isn't. But there's one next to the library. Are there any grocery stores around here? Yes, there are. There are some nice stores on Pine Street. No, there aren't. But there are some on Third Avenue. No, there aren't any around here. Prepositions. On. Next to. Near. Close to. Across from. Opposite. In front of. In back of. Behind. Between. On the corner of. Interesting. Very interesting. So listen again for the there second is, time. There are. Listen. listen. One. Any. Some. Is there a laundromat near here? Yes, there is. There's one across from the shopping center. No, there isn't. But there's one next to the library. Are there any grocery stores around here? Yes, there are. There are some nice stores on Pine Street. No, there aren't. But there are some on Third Avenue. No, there aren't any around here. Prepositions. On. Next to, near, close to, across from, opposite, in front of, in back of, behind, between, on the corner of. Okie dokie. Perdón, hoy no he sentido pasar la clase, no sé. ¿A dónde se nos fue esa hora? Va a poder ser las 9 y 11, 9 to 11, right? So we'll take the attendance. We'll the attendance, sorry. Voy a tomar la lista. Alessandro. Alessandro. Creo que le está fallando el internet. Si, si puede, me manda un mensaje, Alessandro. Eh, Ivonne. Ivonne. De Vimbor. Débora. Ok. Delia. Sorry, Delia. Can you hear you, Delia? Ok, give me a second. Ah, ok. <ríe> no sé qué le pasó a Delia, quizá el, el internet. Bueno. Mm. Give me a second here. Okay, Edwin. Present teacher. Lupita. Present teacher. Good. Erika. Erika. Eh, Abby. Present. Okay, thank you, Abby. Jonathan. Present teacher. Jose. Present teacher. Naum. <laughs> JC. Present teacher. Minor. Melba. Melba. Mónica. I'm here, teacher. Mónica o Melba. 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 Okay. Present teacher. Eh, Mónica. Sí. Ok. Puede participar, ¿verdad, Mónica? Sí. Sí. Vaya, mire, eh, quiero aprovechar porque quiero ver. No sé si ya tuve la, ah, sí, ya tuve la entrevista con usted, con Nicole, es que no he tenido la entrevista. Bueno, vamos a ver cómo hacemos. Quiero ver aquí. Eh, Nicole está de oyente, ¿verdad? Nicole, ¿me puede escuchar? No, bueno, solo de oyente, entonces. Oscar, también de oyente. Robert. Y Yari. Yari, no sé si me escucha. Uh, ¿Puede participar ahora o solo de oyente? Bueno, 
Vamos a revisar los mensajes. Ok, comenzamos con Mónica, ¿verdad? Presente, ok. Muy bien, pero me imagino que puede participar Mónica, ¿ok? Very we go. Luego tengo a Alessandro. Sí, bueno, solo tienen problemas con el, con el audio. Uh, Oscar presente. Uh, Robert. Pero es que no me escucha, ¿verdad, Robert? Solo está de oyente. Bueno, pero la cosa es que ahí está Robert. Le vamos a poner la asistencia, Robert. <ríe> ok, Yari, siempre de oyente. Oh, qué lástima. Bueno. Luego tengo a Robert. Yes, está, sí, está de oyente, Robert, también, entonces. Ok, pero Mónica sí, ¿verdad, Mónica? Y Melba también. Bueno, entonces eh, voy a tener que repetir. Melba la vez pasada me dijo que, que podía quedarse los 10 minutos extra. ¿Puede esta noche también, Melba? Hello, yes, Melba. Sí, sí, yes. sí, sí, okay. sí, sí. Very good. Ah, pues se queda 10 minutos más conmigo. Okay. Thank you very much. Now let's continue, right? Now there is, there are. Remember, there is in Spanish means I. There are also means I, right? In Spanish, no problem. Singular or plural, we say I. Hay un perrito, hay varios perritos, right? But in English, they use singular and plural in this way. There is is singular, there are is plural, right? When you say one, you refer to a singular thing, right? Or you can also say ah. There is a cat on my roof. There is a cat in, on my roof. Or you can say, there is a one, there is one cat meow, meow, on my roof, right? So one, one or a. Any can be used in negative. And some is used in affirmative, right? Look at the examples here. Is there a laundromat near here? Yes, there is. There is one, singular, one across from the shopping center. Or you can say, listen, there is a laundromat across from the shopping center, right? The two options, there is a laundromat or there is one across from the shopping center. The only difference is that when, when you say one is the substitution for laundromat. So you don't say there is one laundromat, no, no. You only say there is one across from the shopping center, good. Or another option is not the reason, but there is one next to the library. Okay, one. Uh, are there any, now in this case it's plural, right? Are there any grocery stores around here? Yes, there are. There are some, not this affirmative, eh? There are some nice stores on Pine Street, la tienda del, no, perdón, la calle del Pino. Pine Street, right? Oh, no, there aren't. But there are some on Third Avenue. Oh, no, there aren't any around here. Any is for negative, some is for affirmative, right? Good. Then when we talk about preposition, right? We already practiced with in, on, and at. But now we have more preposition here, right? Next to, that means a la par de. Near or close to means cerca. No necesariamente a la par, pero cerca. Okay? Across from. Opposite. Y hay otra que no está aquí, que se la voy a agregar. In front of. Across from. Opposite. And in front of means enfrente de. O cruzando la calle. ¿Sí? Aquí está, ver, perdón. Ups, qué oso. Ahí está abajo también. In front of. Across from. Opposite and in front of significa lo mismo. Enfrente o, o cruzando la calle, right? In back of. Back of. Or behind means atrás. Atrás, right? Between means en medio de dos. En medio de dos. 
Si queremos decir en medio de varios, decimos la preposición among. Yo no sé si ustedes se acuerdan unos muñequitos raros que salieron hace poco, ¿no? De un, de un muñequito que tiene un, una cosita así, ¿ve? Se llama among, among. Pues los mismos muñequitos esos, quiere decir en medio de varios, among. Pero cuando digo dos, es between. Dos es between, en among es más, ¿sí? Y por último, on the corner of, en la esquina de, ¿sí? Ok. Now, we're going to see. Sir, sorry. Eh, ¿sí el último que dijo. On the en, corner of, en la esquina. En la esquina. Y mm -hmm. el de opposition es Opposite. Con el opositor. Eh, across from. Bueno. Across from. Opposite. Eh, in front of. Es igual. Los tres son lo mismo. Ah, ok. Si sí, digamos, usted está en la pizza hut y enfrente de la pizza hut hay un. ¿Qué? Un, una taquería, por ejemplo, por decir algo. Entonces. De, de taquería is across from the pizza hut. O de taquería is opposite of pizza hut. Ok. O de, 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 de taquería is in front of. On par with, no, 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 este. Which one? On par with. No, 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 no lo entiendo. On the corner of, no. Eh, a, a la par de. Ah, a la par de. A la par de es next to. A next la par de, next to. ¿Sí? Ok, voy a ponerles un ejemplo. Hoy no saqué a los dinosaurios, pero <ríe> me hubieran servido ahorita, pero... No, bueno, ahorita se lo saco. Les voy a traer a Dino, permítanme. Ay, hoy me va a ayudar Dino. Por aquí está Dino, ¿sí? Permítanme. Hello. Nice to see you tonight. Quieto, Dino, quieto. Ok. Ok. Dino is next to the teacher. Oh, perdón. Se me ve el brazo ahí. Dino is next to the teacher. Look. A la par de. Ok. A la par de. Next to. Right. Let's say, for example, um, what else? What can I tell you? Quiero ver algo que sea conocido que está a la par de. Um, bueno, digamos que hay una pizza hut y a la par está Burger King. So. Burger King is next to. Um, ¿Qué dije? McDonald's. ¿verdad? Burger, no, no. Ajá. Burger King is next to Pizza Hut, right? Next. Bueno, ya, ya le voy a enseñar el mapa mejor. Aquí veamos el mapa. Sí. Aquí tenemos. Miren. Prince Grocery Store is next to the First National Bank. ¿eh? A la par de. Next to. ¿eh? Ok. El parque o la post office, digamos, ¿verdad? The post office is near the First National Bank. Está cerca, miren. Pero no está a la par. Está cerquita, near o close to, right? El que está a la par es el grocery store, ¿verdad? ¿Sí? Next. To. ¿Ok? Good. ¿Do you understand? Aquí tengo algunas preguntas. Eh... Ah, Erika. Erika está de oyente. Va. Le voy a tomar la asistencia a Erika. Erika, está bien, sí, está bien. Ok, good. Luego tengo teacher, eh, no mal que aparezca esto en la plataforma. Uh, bueno, permítame. Sí. Curso, ¿cómo así? Ah, sí. Ya, ya le entendí. Hay una pregunta aquí de Edwin. Este, creo que la vez pasada, no sé si Delia o, o Débora tenía el mismo problema, que en la plataforma les, les aparece a ustedes como, como asistente, no como estudiante. Uh, pero en el caso de Edwin, quiero ver, 
Quiero revisar la plataforma. Si me ha trabajado en la plataforma, déjeme ver. Uh, sí, Edwin. Sí, eh, me parece que usted ha trabajado en la plataforma. Entonces, aunque diga asistente, pero usted está participando como estudiante. ¿Me copia, Edwin? Sí, sí, está bien entonces. Sí, porque este, hace un rato terminé ya la... Ah, ya terminó todo. Ajá, ya terminó. Sí, Ajá, porque... y entonces vi, estaba viendo todo ahí, este, curioseando todo ahí. Sí. Entonces me parecía, me parecía así como, como asistente. Entonces yo dije, a saber, quizás, no sé si hay algún tipo de problema o algo con eso. No, 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 no. No sé por qué dice así, no entiendo, pero, pero sí, usted, o sea, usted sí es estudiante, sí, no, no hay problema. Ah. Dicho, es que aparece como, como, como asistente, pero también dice que no tiene derecho a certificado. Yo creo que más bien por ahí va la pregunta. Ah, Porque bueno, a mí también me sí. parece lo mismo. El certificado es importante. Ivonne, ¿usted se acuerda quién, te, quién me hizo la misma consulta la vez pasada? Creo que fue Delia. Delia, ¿verdad? Sí. Y Delia no está ahora, pero, pero este... ella, ella llamó por teléfono el día siguiente. Eh, Edwin cree que me hace el favor porque... No está Delia para preguntarle porque ella tenía el mismo problema. A mí me respondieron ya de, de inglés corporativo y dijeron que es un, un tema de la plataforma, pero que no hay ningún problema. No hay problema, solo es nominal no. ahí. No, no, no hay sí, problema con el certificado. No, no, es un tema de la plataforma que Va, siempre se da el diploma. Oso. Va, entonces, problema resuelto. Problema resuelto. Que, pues, <risa> yo pensé no sé. que ya no, ya no habían contratado como teacher también a nosotros. ¿Ah? Sí. Es que, no, lo que pasa es que Edwin como participa mucho, yo no, a Edwin pongámoslo de, de asistente del teacher. Ok, thank you, thank you very much. Ok, sigamos con la clase. Muy bien. Ok, look. Look at the map below, right? Voy a hacer un poco más pequeño aquí el mapa. Ok. And it says, write questions about the places. For example, is there a bank around here? Is there a department store around here? Is there a, a gas station in here? Or around here? Oh, you can say in plural, right? Are there any gas stations on Main Street? Are there, are there any Um, any gyms, any department stores, etc., etc., right? So let me see. I will choose one student, and this student is going to make the question for, for somebody in the class, right? El que yo elija, le voy a dar el privilegio de hacer la pregunta a alguien más del, del grupo, okay? Más pequeñito. Hasta ahí se puede. Si no, ya no van a ver. Let me see. Sí, ya no hay nada más ahí abajo. Ok. Let me see. Um, let me see. Melba, please. Ready, Melba? Ok. Melba, you have the sí, next gracias. students. Vamos a ver. Eh, es que hay muchos oyentes. Va. Eh, vaya, ya, ya le voy a decir a quién le puede preguntar. Eh, le puede preguntar a Ivonne. Eh, Débora, uh -huh. Edwin, yes, okay. Lupita, Adi, Jonathan, José, JC, eh, sí. Mónica. ¿A quién, ¿A quién escoge, Melba? JC. JC, ok, JC. ¿Ready? Ok, Melba, you have two options. You're going to make the question for singular, is there... Or you're going to make the question in plural, are there, right? When you say are there, Melba, you have okay. to say any, any, right? Because you make this in the question. Okay, okay go ahead, please. Okay. Other question? Uh, yes, the, but for example, instead of say a bank, you're going to say uh, a hotel. Okay. Or, or, or are there... Are there any hotels, for example, in plural, right? Or is there a hotel, for example? Okay. But you can say um, grocery store, 
gym, post office, gas station. Public uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, JC, is there a gas station around here? Ready, JC? Estoy, estoy pensando la respuesta. Ah, ok. <laughs> nice. Ok. Tichel, the answer is... Ok, wait, wait. Démosle unos segunditos a, a JC. Only repeat the question, Melba. Repeat the question. Is there... Is there a gas station around here? Yes. 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 There is... There is... There is a, a gas station. Okay, wait. Mire cuál es la respuesta aquí. Yes, there is yes, one. There is, there, is mm -hmm. una. there is one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Y si quiere ir a la calle, mire, está la, la gas station está en la Main Street, que casi no se ve. ¿verdad? Yes, there is there is there, there is one across. Ajá. Uh Ajá. -huh. Uh -huh. uh, next to Fear Avenue. No, no, no. It's there is one on on First Avenue, right? First uh, Avenue. On First Avenue. Okay, good. Now, JC, make the question to somebody else. Is ¿A quién le vamos a preguntar, JC? Who's the victim? Ah, no, 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 the victim, no, I mean, who's the student, Edwin. JC? Edwin. Edwin, ok, Edwin. <laughs> no, come on. Ok, Edwin. ok. Ajá, JC, formulemos la pregunta. Is, is, there, is there a bank near here? Uh, teacher, no, no alcanzo a ver arriba la, de la presentación como vaya, le, se lo voy a hacer más grande hoy sí ah, sí. es que vaya Ese, claro. voy, aquí va is there a bank sí. entonces usted va a, poner, va a decir yes there is o no there is ok Uh, yes, yes, there is. Y tiene otra opción aquí, mire, Edwin. There is one on Pine Street. Hay uno en la calle de la, del Pino, ¿eh? On Pine Street. Uh, aquí está el banco, ¿eh? Yes, there is. Uh, yes, there is. Is there one. Is, there is one. Uh -huh. There is one. Pine Street. On Pine Street. Very good. Okay, one more, please. Uh, Edwin, okay. choose another student, please. Uh, I will tell you the, the, the candidates. The I will tell victim. you the victim. Sorry, the, the students. <laughs> uh, Deborah, uh, um, Lupita. Alessandro no está Ale todavía. No, no, Alessandro le está fallando el internet. Uh, Abby. Jonathan. Jonathan. Ah, Jonathan. Okay, good. Same. Jonathan. Y este. The is is the. Como era teacher. Is there? Aquí está, mire. Is there? there is there? Va a ser ah, en singular is, o plural, Edwin. Singular. Singular. Okay. Is there a uh, a uh, Joy James? No, no. Is there a Jim? Is there a James? Uh, 
is there a skin? Yes or no? Yes. Yes, there is. Yes, there is. Mm -hmm. And my street. Okay. Yes. Okay. L let me show you the, the answer. Okay. When you say yes, there is. Yes, there is. Then you say there is one. Teacher, una consulta. No, en la pregunta no hacía falta la preposición. Mm, yes, you can say. Is there a bank around here? Or is there a bank here? Or is there a bank in the city? Etc. etc. Right? Okay. Is there a gym around here? Now, Jonathan. Yes, there is. Repeat, yes, please. There yes, there yes, is. There, there, is. Is. there is one. There is one. Main street. On. On Main Street. On Main Street, right. Okay, very good. Melba, any, any question? Yes, teacher. Una pregunta. Se puede decir, is there a drugstore drug between grocery and um, top shops? Algo así, pudiera yes. ser. Yes, you can say that. You can say, I will tell you many examples, right? Is uh -huh. there a park across from the grocery store? Is there a, a bank behind the King Plaza? Is there a, a hotel next to Frank's Cafe? Is, is there a drugstore behind Jameson, Jameson Hotel? Behind. Behind? Behind or? Es al frente. No, atrás. Atrás. Behind. O in back okay. of. In back of or behind. Okay. Es lo mismo. Sí, por ejemplo, okay. si yo quiero decir, is there a department store behind Parker's Drug Store? Yes, there okay. is one, right? O oh, is there a post office behind electronics? No, no, no. Está enfrente, mire. Eh, perdón, electronics behind a post office. Yes, that's correct. Así sí. O in back of, right? There are many options. There are a lot of options, you know? Mm -hmm. Is there, a, a, for example, a shoe store next to the Parker's Drug Store? Is there, um, what? Is there a, a restaurant here? Aquí está un restaurante. A club from King Plaza Hotel? Etc., etc., right? Okay, very good. Let me see. Teníamos otra práctica, pero ya se nos fue el tiempo. Así que vamos a ir a la presentación. Vamos a ver si tal vez mañana nos queda tiempo. Miren, aquí había un ejercicio bien chivo de escuchar. Bueno, ni modo, ¿verdad? Hoy se nos ha ido el tiempo bien rápido. Ok, now, let's go to the presentation. Ni siquiera hemos hecho la presentación esta noche. <ríe> ok, let me see here, right? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to tonight's presentation. Today is October 18th, and we're going to learn about preposition of place. Preposition Teacher, of place. Right? Now, no salió la pantalla. Ahorita no. mismo se la comparto, permítame. Ahorita mismo o antes, si se puede, permítame. Solo tengo... Aquí, déjame ver. Está bien, Ivonne, no hay problema. Ok, déjenme un segundo aquí. Vaya, hoy sí la podemos ver. Yes. Ok, good. The objective for tonight is Describe how my and others working places and areas look like. Como, como están, donde se ven, etc., etc., right? Okay, good. We're going to practice with there are and there is. But tonight, we're going to add adjectives. Esta noche vamos a trabajar con adjetivos para describir 
el lugar donde ustedes trabajan. Look, number one, there are comfortable rooms. Cuartos cómodos, right? There is a huge parking lot. Un parqueo enorme, right? There are nice places to rest. Lugar, lugares agradables donde usted puede descansar. Bueno, en realidad está en Japón. Um, hay dormitorios donde usted puede ir a dormir si se sienta muy cansado, ¿verdad? En, en Japón. Oh, ya quisiéramos nosotros <ríe> un lugar donde ir a dormir en el trabajo, ¿verdad? <ríe> Aquí en El Salvador. Ok, now. There are, uh, there is an illuminated training room. ¿Sí? Un cuarto de capacitación iluminado. You know? Ok, these are positive values. No sé si en su trabajo hay esto, hay un gran parqueo, los cuartos son cómodos, el jefe le lleva el almuerzo, le dan café con, con semita, no, no sé. No sé si esos positivos, adjetivos son para ustedes, ¿verdad? Ahora, negativo. Narrow reception area. Una área de recepción estrecha, ¿verdad? Que tiene que uno pasar ahí. Uh, there are small offices. Las oficinas son chiquitas, ¿verdad? Casi que uno ve al vecino ahí, ¿verdad? Ok. There is a disgusting kitchen area, right? El, el área de cocina del restaurante donde ustedes trabajan es... Es fea. <risa> ok, there is a smelly living room. El, 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 la, la sala del lugar donde ustedes trabajan no huele muy bien, ¿no? Tal vez alguien echó un poco de agua en el sillón ahí, quedó algo oloroso, no sé. O algún gatito iba a hacer su travesura ahí, pero la cosa es que huele mal, ¿verdad? So, comfortable, huge, nice, and illuminating, positive. Narrow, small, disgusting, and smelly. Negative, right? Now, let's go to discuss what is an adjective. Listen to me, please. An adjective are words that describe or modify other words. Los adjetivos nos dicen uh, cómo modificar o cómo describir otras palabras, ¿sí? Entonces, la, the adjectives are words that describe. Example, small, blue, big, those are descriptive, right? Son palabras descriptivas, me describen otra palabra, right? Uh, the adjectives are usually positioned before the noun or pronoun that they modify, right? Uh, normalmente, el adjetivo va antes del nombre, ¿sí? ¿sí? And some sentences contain multiple adjectives. Algunas oraciones contienen adjetivos múltiples, right? Good. ¿Cuáles son los tipos de adjetivos que conocemos? Descriptive, long, red, strong, rainy, big, salty, right? Propios, adjetivos propios. Salvadorian food, right? Negados, pata soup, right? Sopa de patas, pupusas, right? Salvadorian food. Mexican people. So those are proper articles and numbers. Todos los artículos y todos los nombres, eh, los nombres, no perdido, eh, perdón, los números, todos son adjetivos, right? Quiere decir que los adjetivos son infinitos. A, the, and, two, four, seven, those are adjectives. Demonstrative. These, that, these, no, these, that, these, and those. Y los posesivos también, ¿verdad? Mine, your, his, her, their, our, its. Pero los que nos interesan esta noche son los descriptivos. Smelly, comfortable, big, small. They describe, right? They describe. Look at these examples. Adjectives come before the noun they describe. A long street. Tie shoes. Zapato socado, you know? A red and black tie. Notice that street, shoes, and tie are nouns. And the adjectives goes before those nouns, right? Al revés que en español, en lugar de decir una calle larga, decimos aquí, la larga calle. <laughs> la larga calle. 
Okay, adjectives don't change. For example, a clean office, singular. Clean office, right? En español si decimos oficinas limpias, modificamos el nombre y el adjetivo también. Pero en inglés, no. No. Adjective don't change. Don't modify the, the adjective. Place very before adjectives. Very or so. Hay dos palabras en inglés que intensifican el verbo, ¿sí? Por ejemplo, digo, the window is very long. La ventana es muy larga. It's a very long shirt. Una, una camisa larga, qué raro. Sí, pero eh, modifica o intensifica la adjetivo, ¿sí? Aunque el Barça perdió este fin de semana, pero sabemos que el Barça es very good, very good. Muy bueno el equipo, ¿verdad? Aunque los madridistas digan que ellos son los campeones, pero nosotros sabemos que el Barça es very good, ¿ok? Notice, for example, clean offices, clean offices. Eh, no, incorrect. Eh, clean offices, clean. A window long, a window long. No, a long window, right? We change, right? Okay. Now, let's go to this exercise. Choose light day blue. Uh, okay, volunteers, please. Can you help me? Let's copy, please. Aquí vamos a copiar, yes. Okay, volunteers, can you help me? They, uh, okay. they like. Give me a second. Solo vamos a cambiar colorcito aquí. Brenda, I mean, eh, <laughs> Melba, I'm sorry. Exercise two, Melba. Usted me ayuda con el dos, ¿sí? Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, uh -huh. ¿Quién me estaba ayudando? Hello, hello. Day. Se repitieron, Melba. Ah, pues ayúdenme usted. Day. They like. They like. Blue shoes. They like blue shoes. Blue is the adjective, and blue goes before the noun shoes, right? Okie dokie. Now, Next one, please. Volunteers, num number two. Number two, volunteers. Hello, hello, volunteers. No puede ser, vamos. Help me, please. The workers. Uh-huh. The workers don't need, don't need, don't need um, white shirts at the company. White shirts, shirts. at the company. Okie dokie, Melba. Thank you. Now, anybody else? No me dejan Melba sola. Vamos. Ayúdenme. Vamos. Volunteers? Or clothes. Okay. Or? Clothes. Are dirty. Are dirty. Okay, good. Uh, el teacher acaba de decir que primero va el adjetivo y después va el, el nombre. Pero aquí al revés, ¿verdad? ¿Por qué? Ok, siempre que usamos el verbo to be, eh, vamos a usar primero el nombre y después el adjetivo. ¿Ok? Entonces, hagamos un trato, ¿les parece? Vale. Que quedemos en la mente con la regla en general. Adjective, now. ¿Ok? All the time. But exception, 
when I use the verb to be, is the opposite. Now, verb to be, adjective, right? Okie dokie, number four, please. Volunteers, number four. They are very nice. The, the teacher is very nice. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> they, they, uh huh. They are, they are very nice. Very nice. Like you, my dear students, you are very nice. Good. But notice that we use the word very, right? The word very is an intensifier. Quiere decir que ellos son agradables, pero en este caso, ellos son muy agradables. Muy agradables. ¿Ok? ¿Understand? Ok, let's go to the last exercise. Aquí tenemos más oraciones, ¿sí? Ok, volunteers, please, number five. Uh -huh. These product, product, these products, eso me gusta. Aren't cheap. These products aren't cheap. Excelentoso, nice. Okay, number number six. It's so expensive. It's so expensive. It's so expensive. Like very so indicates intensifier, right? Intensifier. Good. And number seven, please. They are clean clothes. Mm, they are not. They're Uh -huh. There are. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Fatu nombre ahí. Clothes. The clothes. Very good. The clothes are. Are clean. Clean. Thank you. Thank you very much. The clothes are <laughs> very clean, right? Okay. Number eight. Uh huh. Le voy a dar con la, la primera palabra. Or. Or new. Mm. No, or new. Or. Or employees. Or employees. Very good. Or employees. The verb. Need. Need. New shoes. New shoes. Notice that I don't say new, new shoes. No, 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 no. New shoes. The adjective doesn't change. El adjetivo no cambia, okay? Number nine, please. Este está difícil. Vamos a ver. Hagámoslo entre todos. Vale, les voy a ayudar yo. This, this uh -huh. shirt. This, this shirt. Shirt. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. ¿Cuál is, es la talla de la camisa? In small. This shirt in a small is. Is very tight. Very. Very Esta camisa en small me queda bien apretada, bien socada, ¿verdad? Okay, that's it, right? This is the presentation. Uh, before we finish, I will show you the, the manual. Solo les voy a enseñar manual. Okay, y terminamos la clase. Ya no nos quedó tiempo para más. Okay. Por aquí está el manual. 
Permítame un segundito que voy a... Está desenfocada mi cámara. Por ahí creo. Sí, ok. Good. The manual, right? Todo esto ya lo hicimos. Ah, aquí está. Page number 43 and 44, right? Uh, mañana al solo comenzar la, la clase vamos a hacer estas dos páginas. Ya las vimos en la presentación, pero las vamos a hacer juntos. ¿Sí? Y ahí terminamos la clase 19 para mañana. ¿Sí? Good. ¿Hay alguna pregunta antes de retirarnos? ¿Todo está bien? ¿Alguna pregunta? No, ok. Now, let's pass the attendance, please. Alessandro. Ivonne. Bye, teacher. Ok, good. Permítame, aquí está Alessandro. Roberto Antonio. Ok, good. Robert. Robert, ya me perdió. Robert, aquí está. Okay, Yvonne, have a good night. God bless you. Buenas noches. Bye. Bye. Bye bye. Deborah. Bye, take care. Bye, take care. Delia. Edwin. Good night, teacher. Good night. God bless you. Lupita. Bye bye, teacher. Bye bye, yeah. take care. Erika. Abby. Bye, teacher. Bye, take care. Eh, Jonathan. Bye, teacher. Bye, God bless you. Jose. Bye, teacher. Bye, God bless you, Jose. Nau. Bye. JC. Good night, teacher. Good night, minor. Mel, uh, Melba. I'm here. Okay, wait for me, Melba. Wait for me. Okay. Good. Uh, Monica. Nicole. Present. Present. Okay. Teacher. Thank you. Have a good, good, night. Night. good night. Good night. Good night. Nicole. Oscar. Good night, teacher. Good night. <laughs> And. Robert. Oscar. Ah, okay. Oscar, good. Ahí estamos. Eh, Roberto, entonces, Robert. Okay. And Jari. Vamos a revisar por acá los mensajes. ¿Quién me puso esto? Que vive en Barcelona. No, no, no. no. <laughs> okay, vamos a ver. Erika, yes, goodbye. Alessandro, yes, good night. Naum, good night. And Yari, right? Todos presentes. Good, that's it, right? Anybody else? ¿Alguien me faltó? Attendance? Nadie, nadie? Okay, good. So, Melba, welcome back. I'm here, oh. Tisha. Uh, how are you today? Um, fine. Fine. How's yeah. your family? Very good. Very good, right? Mm -hmm. Nice to see you again. Nice to talk to you again, right? Me too, teacher. Uh, I don't know if you have any question about the class. No, really. No. No, no. no, no. Okay. So let's talk about Venezuela. Sorry. <laughs> I was waiting for this talking, you know? Okay, um, you were telling me that there is a, a state or a province, right, in, in Venezuela. Can you repeat the okay. name? 
Yes, uh, I, I am from Venezuela uh, in state Aragua. Aragua, Aragua, yes. yes. Uh, I heard that it, there is one that is called Barcelona. Uh, Barcelona, no, la, really? Eh, uh -huh. eh, ¿Cómo le digo que no, ahí no he ido mucho? Pues ahí ah, no but, but there is a place, pero sí hay un lugar que se llama Barcelona. Yes, ¿verdad? yes. Mm, okay. It's a city. I, I, it's interesting, right? Okay, and, and can you tell me about your city? Is it a big city? It's a big, it's a big city. Eh, the the name its name is Maracay. Maracay. Can yes. you compare Maracay with San Salvador? It's same. Um, the weather is is is. ¿Cómo se dice igual? The uh, same. The same. It's the same. The weather is the same. Uh, much traffic, the same traffic. The same traffic in Maracay that in San Salvador? Yes. Ah, okay. Interesting, interesting, right? And uh, do you have mountains, rivers, yes. lakes? Yes. The, there is a... Um, uh, ¿Cómo decir que está cerca las playas? Ah, uh, it's close it's, to the beach. Yes. Okay, now tell me about the beaches in, in beach, with CH, right? <laughs> beaches. <laughs> beaches. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, um, the in, beach. In, in Venezuela, are the they beach. the same? <laughs> the, the waves? Okay. Because I heard now in these days, uh, Melba, mm -hmm. you know, there are some competitions in, in El Salvador, uh, because of the waves in El Salvador are really good. La, la, las, las olas mm -hmm. in El Salvador, son, they are really appropriate for surfing. Now, my yes. question in is... Aragua, in, Aragua, in Aragua, too, it's, um, I, there is beach uh, calmadas, cal, uh, mm -hmm. aguas calm, calmadas, calm, uh -huh. calm. Calm, calm water, um, and y wild. decir olas. Uh -huh. Waves, uh -huh. waves, come on. Waves. waves. Yes. And there are some beaches where the where you can see many waves, right? Yes. Okay, interesting, no? Nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice. Okay. And have you did you visit uh, Caracas? Yes. Oh, okay. Caracas is near to Maracay. Oh, okay. Uh, about about one one hour hours. One hour. Ah, oh, it's not too much. Mm -hmm. It's like you go here to Santa Ana, maybe. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's very close. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Sí. Okay, yes, and, yes. and I imagine Caracas. Well, I have seen Caracas in many programs, right? Okay. Uh, I remember when I long time ago, my sisters used to see soap operas. So, uh -huh. are novelas, right? Uh huh. About Caracas, I mean, about Venezuela, right? And and I, I remember I used to see uh, many, many scenes, right? Muchas escenas de, de Caracas, right? But I imagine the city is very big, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> nice. Now, the teacher, uh, the Salvador. Mm -hmm. El Salvador, the uh, it's about uh, in, ¿cómo decir el tamaño? In size, in size. In size, uh -huh. uh, similar. Mm -hmm. Similar. Similar to Caracas. Okay, let me tell in, you this. The size of El Salvador is the same the size of Caracas, the city. Yes. Oh, come on, it's really big, yes. right? Just the city, because I imagine the the real size, or que el, me imagino que el tamaño de la del departamento o provincia, Melba. Departamento. Departamento, que okay. el departamento es ser mucho más grande. Departamento Pero, capital, ajá. 
Ah, okay, pero la ciudad en sí, you know, it's so big that it's the same as El Salvador. Okay, now, now tell me what are your favorite places in El Salvador? Uh, um, in this, uh, my favorite place in Salvador is uh, Antiguo Cuscatlán, uh -huh, yeah. where, where I see, where I live. Uh, mm -hmm. It's very tranquilo. ¿Cómo se dice tranquilo? Quiet. 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 Mm, it's very it's quiet. very quiet. And nice. Uh, and, uh -huh, yes. Um, the el clima is weather. The weather, the, yes. The, the weather uh -huh. is. The weather is uh, very nice. Mm -hmm. And the pupusas. Son rica. It's yeah, very. <laughs> no, no, no. I have gone to Antigua and uh, to eat pupusas. And wow, yes. they are really good. Yes. yes. Listen, Melba, in Christmas, for example, mm -hmm. on Christmas, sorry, <laughs> on Christmas. On Christmas. It's very. The place is really good. It's very nice, very beautiful. Yes. Yes. Two years ago, I went to a festival mm, yes. okay, in, in, in Antigua, you know, really good. Yes, it's, I like Antigua too. Okay, other place that you like? Um, other place? Um, a ver. In four years, well, what places have you visited? I will tell you some, right? Lago de Ilopango, Lago de Huija, Lago Guatepeque. de Guatepeque. Guatepeque is very beautiful. Okay. Have yes. you seen the, the turquoise color? Yes. It, they say it's the only lake it's amazing. In, in the world that changes really? the color, right? Yes. Turquesa. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, turquoise. 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 <laughs> yeah. Nice. Okay, how about Los Planes? Have you visited Los Planes de Rendel? Yes, but muy poco, a few. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. And uh, how about Apusunga a in Metapan? What about that? Mm -hmm. eh? I don't. You don't know. I never go to Metapan. Never. Oh, never. No. Yeah, but in Metapan, there are many places, touristic places in Metapan. Very nice, mm -hmm. right? Um, the last thing, right? Yeah. Have you visited uh, San Salvador Volcano? The yes. area of, of the restaurants and... Things. Uh, I, I visited the Salvador Volcano since mm -hmm. uh, ten, eight years. Okay, wait a minute. Last uh -huh. time you told me that you have lived in El Salvador for four years, right? Yes. But, but then you came in the past. I, yes. Oh. I was I in the Salvador uh, in vacation, on vacation since eight years. Okay, and how was that? I mean, who invited you? Uh, a friend? Or you just decide, I will my, visit one country, ah, El Salvador, or, or what? I don't know. No, no, my, my sister-in-law lives mm -hmm. here. Yes, you told me, right? Uh, your sister-in-law is Salvadorian? No, it's Venezuelan. Uh-huh. And but how did she come to she, El Salvador? Yes. How? She I married, mean, she married with, with uh, the Salvadorian. Ah, okay, good. Your your sister-in-law got married with a Salvadorian guy. Yes. And she came to El Salvador to live in El Salvador, right? Yes. And then she said, Melba, eight years ago, right? Come to El Salvador. It's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> and you came and you saw, el, 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 we call this El Boquerón. El Boquerón. Ah, el Boquerón porque Boca, Boca. Entonces como la bocota grande. Correcto. <laughs> El boquerón. <That's> right. <laughs> okay. I I used to go uh, I I went to the to the crater, crater, right? Yo mm -hmm. bajé al cráter cuando fui ahí a uh, um, long time ago daban permiso de bajar antes. Ahora creo que está prohibido bajar, sí, pero en el pasado yo fui beautiful, right? 
es el único lugar donde plantan fresas en El Salvador. En serio. <laughs> yes, it's true. <laughs> Because it's really cold. Okay, then you came to El Salvador, you went to the volcano, you went back to Venezuela. Yes. Later, four years later, you decide, okay, uh, there are some problems in Venezuela, so I, I, will, I will fly to another country. But uh, how did you take this decision? Did you say, how, ¿cómo decidieron decir, bueno, hay tantos mm -hmm. países como México, uh, no sé, Brasil, digo, uh, Colombia? Because I, because, why, because, why here, because here, because uh, here, she, o sea, ella nos invitó, pues ella nos no, no sacó del país prácticamente. She, ah, okay. So, so the, the thing is, your sister-in-law is the, the, the actor, she's the, the, prom, the person who promoted that you live here in El Salvador, right? Yes. Uh, do, do you regret about it? No. No, no. ¿Cómo? Regret is arrepiente. No, no. <laughs> I don't know. I'll be happy because you know. Uh, normally, I'm happy here. Yes. My my daughter's too. Okay. And this is because uh, uh Melba, I have lived many things in my country. I lived the war, the civil war in El Salvador, and I was I was close to die mm -hmm. because of the civil war. You know, I was in the middle of you know. Yeah between the guerrilla and the army in El Salvador. So um, it was really dangerous, really dangerous in the past, right? That's and so then uh, people around uh, from other countries, they say El Salvador is a very bad country, right? Don't go to El Salvador, they say. Now I am happy, not only for you, right? Because <laughs> you were born in another country, but for all tourists and for all people that are coming now to El Salvador and because the, the situation, the political situation, and yes. the, the, the crime, you know, is changing in El Salvador, right? Mm -hmm. That's it, right? So again, uh, Melba, sorry, it's, it's time to finish. Thank <laughs> you, teachers. Thank you. Come thank on, you. listen, it, it was very nice talking to you. And, and again, welcome to El Salvador. I hope you... Thank you. You made your life here, and, <laughs> and and maybe someday we can we can see each other eating pupusa, you and your family there. Melba. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I don't, I, I don't know if you have any extra question, Melba. No, teacher. No. Okay. Again, thank you to help uh, to help me in in my class because when I say participation, that is Melba helping me all the time. <laughs> Okay, have a good night, Melba. Uh, hello, uh, see you, see you. See you, have Next, a good night. Uh, esta clase, este curso termina el miércoles, ¿verdad? Uh -huh, yes. Okay. Next Wednesday, yes. Thank you, bye-bye. See you, see you tomorrow. <laughs>